In this video, I'm going to talk about Guy Fawkes Night, so don't go away. Hi everybody and welcome back to Lean English. I'm Ed and I'm here to help you achieve your pronunciation goals. This video is being released on the 5th of November, which is when we celebrate the failure of the gunpowder plot in the UK. The gunpowder plot was an attempt to kill King James I of England on the 5th of November 1605. Europe at that time was a battleground between Protestants and Catholics, and the plotters wanted to kill the Protestant King James I and replace him with a Catholic king. They planned to do this by blowing up the Houses of Parliament when the king arrived to start the session. However, the authorities were tipped off by an anonymous member of the public, and one of the plotters, Guy Fawkes, was caught guarding 36 barrels of gunpowder, which was enough to completely destroy the Houses of Parliament and kill everyone inside. As a result, Guy Fawkes and seven other plotters were hung, drawn and quartered, which was a particularly gruesome punishment for treason, which involved hanging the person, removing their organs, and then cutting them into pieces. Every year since this event, there have been celebrations on the 5th of November to remember the failure of the gunpowder plot. Initially, the celebrations were religious in nature and featured significant anti-Catholic sentiment. There was also frequent rioting, as people took the opportunity to protest against various injustices. However, today the celebrations are generally peaceful, except in Northern Ireland, where tensions between Catholics and Protestants still run high. There are several traditions associated with Guy Fawkes Night, with many of them dating back hundreds of years, the most notable of which is the burning of the guy, the guy is an effigy of Guy Fawkes which is burnt on top of a bonfire, and for this reason the 5th of November is also known as Bonfire Night. In the past, local children would make the guy and take it from door to door asking for money from local people, but this tradition has more or less disappeared now. Children also sing nursery rhymes about Guy Fawkes Night the most famous of which goes, Remember, remember, the 5th of November, gunpowder, treason and plot. I see no reason why gunpowder treason should ever be forgot. Also associated with Guy Fawkes Night is Mischief Night, which is when children and teenagers in some parts of the country would engage in pranks and vandalism the night before. Often this would involve stealing wood for their bonfires. It's also traditional to set off fireworks and other pyrotechnics, which is why the 5th of November is also known as Fireworks Night. Today, many of these traditions are still alive, and every town and city has at least one fireworks display. These are often accompanied by bonfires and the burning of the guy, but for health and safety reasons, these may be restricted. Usually, these public firework displays have places where people can buy food and drink, and there may be other entertainment like games, music and fairground rides. I think this is one of the reasons why Guy Fawkes Night is still so popular today, because it's a real family event and children really enjoy it. The most famous celebrations take place in the town of Lewis in southeast England, where thousands of people parade through the streets with burning torches, crosses, barrels and other pyrotechnics. Despite this, some people prefer to celebrate at home. Between Halloween and New Year, fireworks are readily available in many shops and supermarkets and some people may invite their friends and family around their house and have their own fireworks display in their garden. Regrettably, this leads to some accidents and around this time each year there are adverts on television and radio warning people about the dangers of fireworks. 
Guy Fawkes Night is a typically British event, but there are also celebrations in countries that have a shared history or culture, such as Canada, South Africa and New Zealand. Well that's the end of the lesson, thanks very much for watching. Have you ever experienced Guy Fawkes Night? Let me know in the comments below and remember to like and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.